Hello, I'm Ken Roski, Chief of Police with the Pasco Police Department. This critical incident update is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in the city of Pasco. You will hear relevant information and learn about details we know are related to this case so you have a better understanding of what occurred. To ensure compliance with Washington State law enforcement's independent investigations criteria and best practices, the Tri-City Special Investigative Unit, or SIU, took control of this investigation just after it occurred. SIU is an independent team of skilled investigators who will report their findings of the criminal investigation to the Franklin County Prosecutor. SIU conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. SIU is still conducting their investigation, and it is not uncommon for these type of investigations to take months to complete. The Pasco Police Department will also conduct an internal administrative investigation, separate and independent of SIU, that will examine our policies and procedures related to this case. They will report their findings to me. Our officers often respond to rapidly evolving, dangerous situations, and an overwhelming majority of those incidents, the officers resolve them peacefully. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Hello, I am Sergeant Rigo Panetta, the Public Information Officer of the Pasco Police Department. I'm going to give you a brief overview of an incident that occurred on May 17, 2020, at around 3 p.m. Pasco Police Street Crime Detectives had information that two subjects who had outstanding arrest warrants for murder were inside of a home in the 700 block of North 12th. The wanted subjects were identified as Juan Manuel Montalvo and Miguel Angel Montalvo. Both were wanted in connection with the murder of Luis Alexander Contreras that had occurred about two weeks earlier on April 29, 2020, at a home on East Lewis Street in North Douglas. In the early morning of May 17, 2020, the day of this incident, the Montalvos returned to the same location on East Lewis Street in North Douglas. Both men broke into the home and started firing their guns at the occupants inside. Two occupants in the shooting were seriously injured and the Montavos fled on foot. While escaping the scene, the Montavos stole a car at gunpoint and kidnapped the car owner, locking them in the trunk of the car. The victim was able to escape from the trunk, run off, and report the incident to police. The body-worn cameras used by the Pasco Police Department carry a 30-second buffer of video without audio. When a body-worn camera is activated, it goes back 30 seconds and starts recording. It does not have a recording of any sound during those 30 seconds. This feature is designed to capture police activities that occurred suddenly when an officer doesn't immediately activate the camera. These videos you're about to see also contain the audio portion, which records after officers activate their body-worn cameras. These cameras are also worn at chest level by most officers assigned to field duties, and they capture a general perspective of what is in the camera's view. Pasco 87 dispatch. Pasco 87. Okay, I'm gonna need you to hold the channel for a second, or for a while. Uh, I'm gonna need as many units as we have to head to North 12th, and we need to lock this thing down. We have confirmation that both homicide suspects are inside that residence. The investigation led detectives to the 700 block of North 12th. Detectives were setting up full surveillance of the house, front and rear, and had requested additional patrol officers to assist. Detective Glass was positioned in the east half of the alley behind the home. Officer Fox arrived as his backup. Both wanted subjects saw that police were surrounding the home and fled out the back and into the alley. Both Detective Glass and Officer Fox saw that the subjects were each armed with a handgun and ordered them to put up their hands. They refused to comply with the officers' directions. The subjects then fired their weapons at the officers. Both officers returned gunfire and struck each of the subjects. One subject was mortally wounded and the other seriously wounded. Uh, 
spot. And guys, if you can't approach from the east, we're bottled up here if you come down 12. Yeah, we're down there on Sylvester Block off the street, so we want to have traffic going eastbound. All right, so this house right here, there's a bunch of windows facing okay, east. Unit, uh, there's a bunch of windows facing east. That's their here. window, so we want to be careful. Okay. Um, and then there, right where that blue car's at, you can cut down into into the east side of that building. At, uh, hey, show me your head. Put your hands up. Want it? Hands up. Shoot him, shoot him, he's reloading! They're Put the gun down! down. Watch off fire! Drop the gun! Jesus Christ! Going down. Hey, where'd one go? I think he went north. Hey, we got one down here. Maybe one ran north. Miguel, I think. Two seconds down. I got two seconds down. 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 You, I can't see the second one. Glass. And guys, if you can't approach from the east, we're bottled up here if you come down 12. Yeah, we're down there on Sylvester Block off the street, so we're going to have traffic going eastbound. Okay, let's get another unit at 10th and What's that? There's a bunch of windows facing east. One more here. Okay. Uh, right where that blue car's at? Down into, into the east side. Here okay. at, uh, Get the vehicle. Hey, show me your hands! Put your hands up! Yeah, Juan just ran out the back window on the hands east side. Up! Hands up! Down, one's still firing. Yeah, stop. stop moving! Show me your hands! Shoot him, shoot him, he's reloading! Sure Put the gun down! Fire. Drop the gun! Jesus Christ! Two subjects down. I can't see the second. Hey guys, I'm coming at you from the west in the alley by the suspects. Coming up. Here you will see slow down video that is zoomed in to show gunshots being fired at Officer Fox and Detective Glass. Two handguns were located, one next to each suspect. Pasco police officers rendered first aid once the scene was secured and immediately called the Pasco fire medics, who were already staged nearby, to treat and transport the injured subject to a local hospital, where he received medical care and was then booked into the Franklin County Jail for murder. Yeah, we're going to go in through the, the side house.
house here, the yellow house. Yellow house just to the... Wait, there's a gate, just follow me back there. Okay. If they want to move them out, if yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Whatever to cover? you need us to do. We'll, uh, let's take them behind let's your front yeah. The Pasco Police Department believes in key principles and maintaining public trust are preserving life, protecting our community, and ensuring all uses of force are reasonable. The use of deadly force can be traumatic for all involved. Each encounter is unique and requires officers to make split-second decisions during tense, uncertain, and rapidly evolving circumstances without the benefit of hindsight. For more information regarding our policies and procedures, please visit our website at www.pasco-wa.gov.